What's going on guys? Happy Saturday. Once again, shout out to all of my supporters and the people who defend me, who ride with me, who rock with me, because this video is about you. Right now, I am seeing a bunch of men. Well, I haven't really checked, um, but I know a bunch of men two weeks ago jumped all over this and they were making their videos and they were talking about me. These were men, very feminine men. I got a question. If you are a dominant man, your sex life is great, your money is great, your life, do you care who another man is fucking? Does that even cross your mind? I want you to really understand the reason behind the outrage because uh, the first layer was fake outrage by the robe wearing bitch. And then there was this wave, a wave and wave and wave. Everyone has something to say. And right now people are saying he's being investigated by the FBI. How do you know that? The FBI doesn't comment on their investigations. <laughs> they don't comment. I seriously doubt that I'm being investigated by the FBI. So this is one of the things. These so-called men, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give out some shout outs to Alan Roger Curry, who is a man. Mr. Lucario, who's a man. Edward Anderson, who's a man. Ron Wills, who's a man. These guys did not make any diss videos. You wanna know why? Because their lives are good. So all of this stuff you're seeing is hidden jealousy from the feminine men of YouTube. There was this one dude, he was making the video, and dude was about 300 pounds. You know he ain't getting no trim. You know he ain't getting no trim. And, I, and I, every now and then I casually look at the people who are making the videos, and I look at the people making the videos, I look at their background. Is there any sign of success? Is there any sign of, of luxury or wealth? zero. So they're fat, they're ugly, they're jealous, they're feminine, and they're angry. They're very, very angry. Because here's the thing. Once again, when I first saw this hashtag cancel Glendon Cameron, I started laughing my ass off. Guys, this is why you need to have your own thing. Now, if I had a Facebook group or page, I could have been in some trouble. Or if I was on Amazon, they may have suspended my account. See, there was no one to go run and tell on me because I own my own stuff. I'm independent. I remember years and years ago, these guys were having the conversation about me, about being so independent and it was like, you know, he should be doing eBay, he should be doing this, you know, he wants to be independent. This is the power of being independent because you can't get canceled when you're independent. They cannot cancel me. This weekend I made a lot of money. Um, also, for those of you who are interested, give me some time, I'm gonna work on this today and I'm probably gonna drop it in the community section, but I'm gonna work up some kind of combo deal because I got people who are piling into the masculine frame and I've got people who want to get into Hustlers University. And tomorrow, 5 p.m., we have some high-level resale training that's gonna be going down, very high level. Um, once again, this training is gonna be able to get you from $1,500 a month to $5,000 per month. So sign up today, and I'm gonna probably drop a link or something under here working on that. But right now, they've come for me. And they were like, we're coming for you. And I'm, I'm like, really? You and what army? So they've been, they've been leaving comments. And let me tell you why I delete comments. And th this, this has been a big problem for the feminine men and all of the centers. See, when you leave a comment and then other people pile on into your comment, 
that's like a dopamine hit. It's like, hey, I made this comment and other people like it. And every time someone likes your comment, you get a little hit of dopamine. And me, I'm the big, bad, mean old Glendon. I'm deleting your comments so you can't get your dopamine hit. You cannot, that's what it's about because it's like I leave a comment and a lot of people agree with me. That is a false sense of self-esteem versus a healthy sense of self-esteem like I have. Like all these people have been talking, 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 talking. What I've been doing, going on with my life, living my life, working, doing what I'm doing. And I actually take joy in deleting their comments. Now, they've, they've tried to mess with me. They've tried to knock me off my axis and it didn't work. So here's the new tactic. And this is where you guys come in. They're starting to work on you. They're not leaving comments for me because like I said, I delete them, I don't even read them. So they're like, that ain't working. So what we're gonna do is work on his supporters. And now they're going after you like there was some fool, like everybody on this channel knows about the video, right? It's like, I don't know if you are aware, but this, there's this controversy going on about hustlers. I'm like, I blazed that fool, I was like, they know because I posted the video and I, when I posted that video, I put a link on the community channel of this channel and I believe Savage Money. So now they're going to try to work on you. And let me tell you why they want to work on you. Most of the people who are doing this stuff, number one, lack home training. Once again, there's a lot of people who didn't like the video. It was designed that way to piss people off, right? But the productive, the successful, the well-heeled, the well-mannered, they're not coming on my YouTube channel or my Instagram leaving these comments. They're not. They were raised right. So what we have is the bottom of society who now feels that they can attack. Because, you know, for many of these people, I would be considered an elite. I would be considered an elite. And they feel that they can attack an elite and it ain't really working. It ain't working. So what they're, what this bottom segment of society, because once again, I'm going to say this distinctly and clearly. If I haven't done anything to you and then you come over and attack me, that is the textbook example of harassment. All of these clowns were trying to harass me and when they found out it wasn't working, they're gonna start harassing you. Because it's like, wait a minute. We, 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 well, you know, like the conversations changed. Like, you know, like, hey, y'all keep saying he's going to jail, he's being investigated. When is this gonna happen? No answers. And now people are lying. He's, he's being investigated by the FBI. How do you know that? You could call up the FBI and ask them about their ongoing investigations, and they're gonna tell you, we as the FBI do not comment on ongoing investigations. They're not gonna tell you who they're investigating, they're not gonna tell you what they're investigating. So how would you even know that? People, one of the things it went, because no one ever puts down 17. And in the video, I said and admitted to having sex with a 17 year old girl. No one puts down 17. It's always 15, it's always 14. Now it's toddlers. Now I'm hanging out at high schools. And I'm just sitting here like, once again, remember my video when I said America was stupid. People are creating an imagery in their mind that is so remote, removed from the truth, it ain't funny. Like, once again, I put up a video talking about the Craigslist protocols. I did not go out looking for these young girls. They came to me. And no one, well, there's a few people who talk about that. But the reality is, this is part of why society gives women so many passes. It's like, yeah, you're in high school. Yeah, you're in the Craigslist erotic section. Yeah, you're responding to ads, but that's not your fault because you're X amount of age. I call bullshit on that all day long. These girls knew what they were doing. You know how many girls in high school are dating 30 year old men like right now, right now. And it, it, it's, it's wild, right? It's wild because I'm just sitting here 
looking at all of these people who are going to be reset. If you're coming on my YouTube channel to leave a harassment or like some comment, that tells me how you spend your time. Like there are plenty of people I'm not fond of. I don't go on their YouTube channels and leave nasty comments. It's not, it's not productive. I got better uses of my time. I know this. So that's one of the reasons I don't do that. And once again, most of these people are unintelligent, uneducated, lack manners, lack conscientious trait. They're not conscientious at all. And they're coming on here and they're trying to talk smack to me. And they're like, how come it ain't working? Because see, here's the thing. Most of these feminine men, these gossipy men are weak. They're mentally weak. They're physically weak and they're financially weak. They're weak across the board. And this is their like, we're gonna, we're gonna punch an elite in the face. See this chin? It's made of iron. They've been trying to punch me on my chin and they've been hurting their little weak, little moist men fists. They've been like, ow! Dang, man, what's that made of? Cause see, I am like watching this thing. And when I was on the lead attorney show, I said six months. Once again, we are, when did I put that video up? I put it up, I think the 8th of October. So we're three weeks. So we got five months and another week to go. Let me go ahead and give you the playbook. What I like, once again, it's dying down. And then we're like, it ain't gonna die now. We're gonna keep doing this. We're yeah, they ain't, no one paying you to be a harassing asshole. There's no payment in that. So it's dying down. Like uh, there's virtually nothing going on at Savage Money. And the Lost Kings, there, there's a lot of women. There was a woman that's like, this guy's being investigated by the FBI. Y'all should be careful who you, once again, they're coming for you. And I'm going to tell you why they're coming for you. Most of these people have never accomplished anything in life. They've done nothing. There are nothing. They have nothing. So now they want to come after you, my support system, and then they want to get in your head. And here, here's the thing. These folks are so obtuse. They don't understand that I have a track record of helping people for about 12 years. A bona fide, verifiable track record of helping people make money for 12 years. So someone's going to come up there to someone of my supporters that bought one of my courses that I helped make money. And they're going to be like, hey, man, you need to come over here to the dark side. You need to come over here to the hate fest. And they're like, get away from me. I rock with this dude. And they cannot understand the strong support system I have. You want to know why? Because they ain't never did shit for anybody. They don't understand that when you become of service to people and when you help people, you build a strong community. I got a strong ass community and they cannot stand it. They cannot stand it. All of these never do wells, never done shit in life, don't have shit, broke ass busters, feminine ass men. I want you to think about it. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that goes on on the internet. And I don't really get into the gossipy side of the internet because I got too much to, I got too much to do. I got, I got a lot of stuff going on. And I want you, the next time you see someone put up a video about me, check his femininity. And I guarantee you, he's going to be very, very feminine. Abba and Preach put up a video. I believe both of them to be very feminine men. That's my opinion. They're very feminine. And part of the reason that so many guys have problems with women is you are approaching a woman, not with your masculinity, you're approaching her with your femininity and boom, polar opposites, femininity, masculine men, a man with feminine traits is just going to repel a feminine woman. I was like, I don't want none of that. 
I, I'm the one that's supposed to be feminine. You're supposed to be masculine. And that's why so many men have problems with women because they're feminine little bitches. They're all up in their emotions. This has happened. And I, I don't know if you can Google this, but there was a number of men in London who became stay at home fathers. They married this so-called alpha woman. They stay home with the kids and the divorce rate for these pairings is ridiculously high, ridiculously high. I don't care how alpha a woman is. She doesn't want a feminine man. She doesn't want a feminine acting man. Now, if you're a masculine man and you love and adore and you cherish your children, that woman's going to love you super hard because that's that's what you're supposed to do. But if you occupy her role in the relationship, she's going to slowly start to despise you because it's like, hey, he's in my room. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Why is he over here in my business? And I'm just looking at it because once again, they can't touch me. I'm like MC Hammer. They cannot cancel me, which cracks me up, cracks me up. But now they're coming for you. So guys, be ready. I've seen some of you um, duke it out with them, like go back and forth and essentially just just say one piece and let it be because they're trying to agitate you because they figured out I was like, damn, that's where he gets his strength from. His support base. Oh, let's let's start messing with the support base. Right. And that that's that's the thing that they're trying to do now. That's the next tactic from the uneducated weak. And like a lot of these male YouTubers are feminine as fuck. A lot of them. And they're on there yelling uh, the robe wearing bitch. He's feminine as hell. He's extremely feminine. He doesn't know anything about masculinity. Nothing. And I am just perplexed. Well, I shouldn't be perplexed because I'm a social scientist. I know that this has been going on and this happened when, because here's the fact that no one's going to tell you. Over half of the children in America are growing up in homes without fathers. About 65 70% of the kids in America are growing up in homes without fathers. And what you're seeing with these feminine men is the absence of strong father figures. Even though my mother wasn't married to my father, I grew up in the neighborhood with several strong black men. So I got it as a byproduct. And in a strange way, I had a stay at home mother. My grandmother was my stay at home mother. So that socialized me to be very different. And this is one of the reasons I don't get along with a lot of black women. Yeah, I said that one of the reasons I date white women, Asian women, Hispanic women is more of them grow up in homes with fathers because I can meet a white girl who grew up with a father. And if she respects her father, she's going to be halfway submissive automatically right out the gate. Whereas if I'm dealing with a, be a beautiful, strong black woman that had no masculine role model, she's just going to fight me on stupid stuff. And like, I, I like, I'm not doing that. Life is too short. I'm not going to be in a relationship to fight with you over stupid stuff. When I can date this white girl, I can date this Asian girl, this Hispanic girl who will be super submissive, super feminine. I got options. And that's why I date white women. It ain't because I, I hate black women. Oh, and oh, and that, that's something else too. I haven't seen it, but supposedly some black women have come forward and said that I molested them. Now, everyone that's been rocking with me know I don't date black women. Y'all know that. Y'all have known that for years because I don't hide it. But all of a sudden, who I molested, who I took advantage of, when during the cracks, let's, 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 let's dive into that. When I was putting out the Craigslist protocols, now, when I had an attractive, slim, sexy, slim black woman come into the warehouse 
and I got to talk to her and interface with her, I would date her. But for someone online, and I had no bearings or nothing, I, I wouldn't do it. So I aimed my Craigslist ads at white women. Worked very, very well. I have not, now this is funny. There's some girl, this year I was dating, she's black, but she's from California. She's 5'3", 115 pounds. She's very classy. Whenever we go out, people always compliment her because she's very fashionable. She's very much the lady. She's very classy. AKA, she's a black girl, she's a California girl, but she has a lot of white girl attributes. And it is funny because I've seen these comments. Well, I can't wait till your victims come forward. I'm like, what victims? You act, you know, people act like I had an old enterprise going on. I fucked one 17 year old and people act like I was driving the school bus up to the elementary school and it's like, come here, I got lollipops, I got cookies, I have sodas for you, come on on the bus. And a lot of you are using the word pedophile incorrectly. A pedophile is someone who's attracted to children under the age of 10. 10, 17, oh, that, that ain't the pedophile. A lot of you are uneducated. Many of you are really fucking stupid because you thought I was going to jail, that didn't happen. You thought you were gonna cancel me, that didn't happen. You thought you can harass me, you thought that didn't happen. You thought you were gonna drive me off the internet, that didn't happen. I don't think you fools realize just how powerless you are. You actually have no agency, no power over your own life. Yet you're gonna come on the internet and jump Jimmy bad like, yeah, Glimmy, we're gonna get rid of you. Really? How's that working out? You ain't stopped my money. You haven't stopped me from being on YouTube. How's that working out? Since y'all big and bad, we're gonna get rid, we're gonna cancel Glendon Cameron. We're gonna cancel it. Really? How can you cancel a man who has his own kingdom? I got my own kingdom. I got my own army. How you gonna cancel that? See, this is why most of America, and I, this is something, I'm gonna tell you this story. And this is gonna be part of the resale training. I bought a treadmill, and if you ever try to sell a treadmill online, it can be somewhat difficult. And I posted the treadmill, and I posted the treadmill. Then one day, I was in the tub. You know, fun fact, I like to take bubble baths. So I was taking the bubble bath, and I was like, why don't you just offer delivery? Sofa set, washer and dryer, treadmill, boom, 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 boom. I bought that treadmill for $3,300 four years ago. I sold it for $2,000 today. The delivery and assembly cost me $150, so I sold it for $1,850. A lot of folks can't. They got treadmills and they bomb the price. A lot of people sell them for 200 because they're hard to move. Because once again, as a dominant masculine, very smart man, very smart because people are like, oh, he's stupid to put that video up. I'm smarter than you, I'm way smarter than you. Uh, I'm a problem solver. And what I see happening, because like I said, it's dying down. Now a lot of you are like, it ain't gonna die down. We're gonna keep it going up. We're gonna keep it going up. Really? Please name the last 10 Donald Trump scandals. Please, list them in the comments. You can't name them. You can't name them. You can't. So Donald Trump was doing all this stuff, and like I said, about a month or two from now, no one's gonna be talking about this, if that long. And what's gonna happen is, Savage Money's gonna start to get new subscribers, because I did lose some subscribers, and you know what? Good riddance. Fuck all of y'all. Because if you were gonna unsubscribe from accurate, helpful financial information because you're a sexually repressed little bitch, fuck you and good riddance. Other day, I had someone who tried to rent a car who didn't follow instructions. See, I don't have to take all money. I'm in a position in my life 
where I can turn down deals because I don't need the money. That girl didn't rent that car. My bills were still going to be paid. I was still good. I'm in a position where I could like once again, and I, I figured she was going to do it because she was attractive and you know, men are supposed to fall at their feet. And I'm like, you're stupid in the ad. It said, do not just show up Whether she does. She just show up. And then she's like, it's inconvenient for me to be waiting. And that's like, you know, it's inconvenient. It wouldn't be inconvenient if you could follow simple ass instructions. That's exactly what I said to her in the ad that you saw with the X five It said, make an appointment. Don't show up. And you just showed up and you got to wait. And then she got pissed off and she was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I'm like, fine. Cool. Do your thing. Because one of the things that I am beginning to understand, and we're going to get into this in the training, building your own platforms, having your own stuff. That is one of the reasons that they cannot cancel me. I have my own. I'm like Sam Cook. If you don't know who Sam Cook is, Google Sam Cook was one of the first black men to own his music. He owned the lyrics. He owned the publishing. I forget the third part of the song, but Sam Cook owned all of his stuff. And that's what got him killed. So once again, we're, we'll be talking about ownership because y'all are cracking me up. We're going to cancel Glendon Cameron. Really? Good luck with that. I'm still here. Oh, yeah. By the way, I'm still fucking young women. Yep. Fucked one last night. Sure did. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it, it's interesting. But all of these feminine ass YouTubers, they don't know nothing about masculinity. They're all up in their feelings like Kiki. It is funny. It is hilarious. But guys, give me a little time. I'm going to put together a super combo package. I'll probably put it in the first combo on the first link here. And I have someone trying to rent a car because I know when my phone rings over and over and over versus them leaving a message. Because here's another thing. Just like all of these low impulse control people who are coming on my channels, leaving all these comments. Poor people have low impulse control, lack of decorum. And this is one of the reasons they're going to be reset. They don't have to be reset, but they're going to be reset because of their behavior, because they spend their time on BS versus building and creating stuff. And I find it very, very funny. So give me a little time to cook all that stuff up, but it'll be in the first comment and I will write all that up and I have that for you guys because uh, that's my promise to you for my supporters, for the people who love and support Glendon Cameron, because they're coming in for you. They're coming for you. They're coming for you. They're going to argue with you because they found out arguing with me was like ineffective. It's like we can't piss him off. We can't make him cry. We can't make him leave. What the hell? You know why? Because I'm a dominant, strong, masculine man. And once again, this right here, because let, let, let me tell you, when I set up the experiment, I fully expected this to last a year. So I was braced for this kind of behavior to go for a year. It's been two weeks. Two weeks. And it's, it's, it's dying down. It's dying down already. And I was braced because I was like, all right, this could get explosive. This could get nuts. So you got to prepare yourself to deal with this backlash for a year. Ain't even going to go that long. Ain't even going to go that long. So that's all I got for you guys. I will talk to you in the next one.